What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to a series of videos I've been meaning to do for a little bit, and I'm just, just gonna ahead and uh, start doing it now. So, uh, what this is, is first of all, I have a webcam. Hi! Uh, I'm looking at OBS over here. So, uh, what's going on is this is a series of videos I've wanted to do that is a general overview of every single Soul Well, not every single one, but like the Soul Calibur characters I know, so that going into the new Soul Calibur game, uh, a lot of people know how to handle some of these guys. Uh, seeing as how a lot of these characters are based on a lot of legacy knowledge and there's a lot of other stuff like that, I figured this would be a good time to uh, go ahead and show everyone some of these characters and what all they can do. So, today, I'm starting with my main, uh, Mitsurugi. So, Mitsurugi here, uh, there's a few things I want to go over before we actually start this video proper, so let's just go ahead and get to the full screen. So, uh, Mitsurugi, I was going to start with Nightmare, but Soul Calibur 2, for demonstration purposes, Mitsurugi would be a lot better because... Nightmare is a little too unique for the aspects of this game, but, um, <clears throat> excuse me, this was a little unscripted, by the way, guys. So, uh, Mitsurugi, um, he's arguably one of the easiest characters to actually use in the game. Uh, he has no real adjust frames, um, there's probably, like, one or two in this game, because Soul Calibur 2 has a lot of, uh, unique moves for a lot of characters that aren't present in Soul Calibur 3, 4, and 5, like, uh, Mitsu has... Let's see, he's got this move that's not present in Soul Calibur 3 onwards. I can I can definitely say that. Um, but in general, Mitsurugi is actually a character that changes the least, or probably one of the least changed characters throughout the, the series. His general core idea is always intact, and there's no, never like a giant overall haul or anything. So I feel like um, I can talk pretty brazenly about a lot of his changes, or... Uh, Mitsurugi as a character and not worry about missing any crucial details or anything like that. So, for Mitsu here, um, yeah, he's generally one of the easiest to use characters in the game. There's no just frames. The only real just frame that actually comes to mind is uh, this one, which is, uh, which, what was that? Uh, 6B2. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say directions, not numbers. I'm not used to that. Uh, 4B2, or 4B down, which is initially this. Um, Forward lunge that's the mid, you can turn into a low. Um, if you do the just frame input, it it gets delayed, and that's not something you generally want to do with Mitsu. Um, you want this to be a straight low poke. The only reason this would be good is if you make the hard read, they're going to do a uh, guard impact, in which case you can't throw off the timing, but it's not worth it at all, honestly. But uh, other changes that he does have is that in this game, he has. Um, one of his relic stance, no, uh, miss stance throws out of his standing, which is odd for him, but, I don't know. Anyway, so, that's about it for the, like, the major changes, besides, like, um, one, or, was, like, half circle? No, um, half crescent moon, I think it was called. Let me go check that really fast. Um, power moves, signature moves? What's the signature move? It's somewhere in here, guys, give me a sec. <laughs> Okay, um, might be this one. He's got that. Um, but... Half Moon? Yeah, he doesn't really have Half Moon in other games, from what I remember. So, that is a unique thing to Soul Calibur 2. But, anyway, we got a point. So, yeah. Uh, Mitsurugi is very easy to use because... Uh, a lot of his, a lot of his normal attacks are very powerful. Uh, they're fairly quick. And there's no just frame inputs to really worry about. And he's also very straightforward because he doesn't have a lot of stances. So I feel like, just by that al sheer nature alone, uh, he's actually pretty easy to figure out. The only stances he does have is, um, how do you employ this controller? Relic stance and miss stance. Sorry, I had to, I have a weird c controller setup going on right now, guys. And, uh, miss stance. Those are the only two, uh, stances he ever has. And even Soul Calibur V, he loses relic stance in favor of miss stance. I'll talk about those more later, but... So, I feel like a lot of people write off the idea that he's an easy to use character as him being bad. That's not inherently true. In fact, it's actually a pretty good thing. What I mean by that is because he's an easy to use character, um, you're able to. Let me bump this a bit. You're able to prioritize um, movement and spacing a lot more. And you don't have to worry about uh, fucking up like a just input. For those who don't know, just inputs are when you do a command on the exact frame. So, like, uh, just frame would be pushing, like, 
down and be at the, same, at the exact same frame, like 1 60th of a second. He doesn't really have any of those that are important. So as a result, you're able to think about, uh, you don't have to worry about dropping inputs. And you can just more focus on doing stuff that Mitsu actually wants to do, like side step B, um, doing kilos, uh, mixing in throws. You're able to allocate more brain power into do into in the moment clutch kind of moves instead of uh, showboating or anything like that. So it's pretty good. Um, he's no Setsuka. He's definitely no Setsuka. Um, even Taki, I'm pretty sure, has at least a handful of just frame moves, if my memory serves that correctly. So, um, yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, other, so, what really makes Mitsurugi good and what, you, well, it obviously is use, his ease of use. It's also that uh, for his character, let me go ahead and turn on the information. Okay. Okay. And, and have him not guard anymore. Let's see, where is it? Stand. Okay, there we go. A really good thing about Mitsurugi is that his attacks generally are pretty quick and have a lot of good range, and they do good damage. He's a really good balance character, and Soul Calibur is actually pretty difficult to find uh, actual balance characters. Like, uh, Nightmare is generally more power hitting. Taki doesn't have a lot of, of actual power moves, but it's very fast on her feet. And characters like Zofichia and Cassandra are pretty set in um, just being fast or power, but they don't have a lot of range. Mitsu is a really good balance of all three of them, so if you're just jumping into Soul Calibur, he's a pretty good pick because you can go ahead and just start doling out raw damage and not worry too much about messing anything up. So I feel like that's pr a pretty good aspect of him if you're just getting into it. Uh, his, his damage isn't as astronomical as Nightmares, but he can still do some pretty good stuff. Something like, something like this. This is a little bit of an old school combo. So, yeah, um, good shit, good shit. Um, let's see. So, uh, there's generally a couple of schools of thought for when you use Mitsurugi. There's, like, the party animals who like to 50-50 your opponent all day, um, between mids. His ridiculously good low, that's basically a hell sweep. Uh, there, and then there's the, you, then there's the general more layback kind of care, the players, like, that rely more on, like, slower moves that have priority. Uh, I like to call this the Faros mentality. Or uh, Faro school of thought. I personally am more in the Faro school of thought because uh, I feel like some of his best moves are used as whiff punishers. Like I personally feel like what his best move might be size to be, or at least in general. Soul Calibur two, his best move is probably forward forward B or uh, forward forward kick because this move has ridiculously good recovery. Like I'm able to. Hit him so fast that the health bar doesn't even regenerate his health. That's pretty good. Um, yeah, that moves kind of overpowered in this fucking game, but uh, you know, it's not that's not really like too much of importance. So yeah, it's not too bad. Um, other key, other key moves he generally has is like, well, actually no, I'm gonna talk about this move first. Um, this move is actually pretty fucking good because nine times out of ten, I've never known it to not be. It's generally safe on block. Um, it also comes out of sidestep, so it has natural evasion against uh, mid attacks that are vertical, or have really shit tracking. So like, uh, and usually it puts them in the crouch if they block it. So let me go ahead and have them block that actually. Uh, this training menu always gets messed, messed up. Standing guard. Yeah, as you can see, even so, the best case scenario is I tag him with uh, the mid, and I'm able to get a free hit afterwards. The worst case scenario is he blocks. A really good mid attack that has a lot of push, uh, a lot of push guard, and a lot of plus frames on block, and they're pushed in the crouch. When someone's pushed in the crouch, their options are really limited in terms of what they can do as a like uh, retaliation. And if they were to do something, you can probably counter hit them. So yeah, pretty good. Like even like a basic frame trap on this would be like side step B, and then you just like kick. It won't give you. It probably won't do too much for you, but it's a pretty fucking good option. Or like just catching him with on a whiff with like a launcher. Generally speaking, um, if I were to, um, I wonder if there's a retaliation setting in this game. Um, no, I don't think there is. Well, actually, 
attack. Can I set the second one? Attack. A attack. Alright, well, like, as an example of how good this move's range is. Yeah, you just see that. That beat his A cleanly. Uh, the range, if I remember correctly, is a lot better in Soul Calibur 4 than it is in, in, like, 3 and 5. But it's still pretty damn good as, like, a clean whiff punish. But, like, if you were to get really into it. And then it just got to like, go for a free follow-up. That's generally... Size of the B, I feel like, is generally one of his best moves across all Soul Calibur games. So, yeah. Um, def definitely try to utilize that if you can. Uh, another one of his best moves... I've never noticed, known this move to be not good. Um... Go ahead, have him have him just stand. Uh, down KB. This move is basically the Soul Calibur equivalent of a Hell Sweep. It's really good. Uh, for those that don't know, Soul Calibur, or those that don't know Tekken, uh, Hell Sweeps refer to uh, knockdown lows that um, are generally very unsafe on block, but they offer you great advantage on wake ups or like on hit in general. So you can just go ahead and rip this, and there's a pretty good chance you're going to fuck his day up. Because Mitsuruga has so many good mids, like sidestep B, um, back B is pretty good, down forward B. These moves are so good, dude, the opponent's, or like just BB by itself. It's, they're so good that the opponent's gonna want to start ducking, so down KB is a great, or no. Because of they're such good moves, they're gonna want to stand and not duck anything. So down KB is where you want to, you want to use to start making them duck. Um, he, Mitsuruga has a, actually has a pretty good repertoire of, of low attacks, like I mentioned, uh, 4B down, 4B by itself is not a bad move actually. Like actually, 4B is actually not. I should. I was actually not gonna mention that. It's a pretty good move. Um, the 4B and its extensions are not bad. Like 4B by itself is a nice mid. Um, 4B up is a really quick high. Like actually faster than B forward. So this move is not bad to use to like counter hit. Um. I don't think it does anything on like counter hit though. Let me go check that. Uh, can I set him to counter hit? Yes. Yeah, it gets a little more plus frames. Not too crazy. Yeah, it doesn't do too much on counter hit either. Uh, let's see. But yeah, no. Um, and then uh, obviously the best one is this move because. It's a lot faster and a lot safer than down KB. I'm pretty sure this is launch punishable depending on what character you're facing. This is a really good uh, fast low poke. I recommend this, honestly. And then he's got two other low attacks that are uh, usually very noteworthy. Um, down back A is one of his most crucial. Um, I don't like ripping this in the open because it's slow enough to be re uh, reacted to on, on uh, when it comes out. But it does have two extensions. One is really delaying it, which... I don't really like that, unless you want to mess up their uh, time on guard impacts. That's not too good of an option. And then the other one is, when you're ripping it, and press B. Um, that will allow you to do a mid unblockable question mark variation. It's more of a guard break, and it goes into a mid. So that by itself is pretty good. And seeing as how this move by itself naturally tracks, they're probably not going to be inclined to sidestep it. But honestly, this move is a lot more of a gimmick than anything else. So... Like, if you're trying to, like, faint them with the reactable low into a mid, you're pr probably better off just, like, going for this, which isn't that bad on block. At least not from my experience. Or just, like, fishing for something else. So, um, let's see. And the, the last low he has is really good is, um, let's see. That would be 1-1 one, one or 7-7. Seven, seven, oops. 1-1 one, one or 7-7-A. Seven, seven, this move is pretty freaking good. Um... I feel like this move is just in the unseeable range. Um, I've never known anyone to actually react to this move from what I've experienced. Uh, by the way, <laughs> I forgot to mention this at the start of the video, goddammit. So, I personally have about a decade of experience with Mitsurugi. Um, my first Soul Calibur game, as I mentioned, was Soul Calibur 3. And then I moved on to uh, Soul Calibur 4 and 5. I started with Siegfried. Tried Nightmare, and then I made the permanent switch to Mitsurugi. But I still know a lot of other characters. But Mitsu is generally always my main. That's the character I use the most amongst all of them. So, uh, let's see. And of course, I'm doing these guides because these strats generally carry over to all future Soul Calibur games. They're generally 
some of his bread and butter in, uh, in a lot of instances. As I said before, Mitsuru gets a character that doesn't change a lot. Um, there are sometimes some major changes, but they're like for one move or just like one aspect. Other than that, these ideas are very universal. Like, BB is always a great move. Down KB will always knock down as a good low uh, mid. Um, down forward B is always a great move. And forward forward A plus B is also fantastic. That was the wrong move. There we go. <laughs> Alright, we can talk about his, his chances later though. But, um, alright, let's see. Uh, other good moves he has. BB by itself is a, it's probably his quickest mid. Um, it's very good because of its over, overwhelming range. Uh, you could do some cool shit with it. Like, you can just... You can start to fake him out uh, with uh, either doing the cancel or just doing the one hit or doing two hits. The move is generally safe across the board, so you don't have to worry about it uh, being retaliated. So, like, if I were to set this Mitsu to... Uh, set him to attack with the B attack... Well, if, if he did both extensions, he's just not blocking. That's a bad illustration of my point. Anyway, uh, got a spinner. He's weird to sell navigate. All right, so um, yeah, BB is always gonna be one of great moves. Another good mid of his that you generally do want to keep in mind is back B. This move is kind of like a safe backswing blow. Um, a really good thing about it is that on counter hit, it will actually. Uh, put your opponent to like a gut stun. They can break it, but if they don't, then you're gonna be in for a pretty good time. So if I were to send it to take like this. Oops, that was against the wall. Yeah, like with that alone, I just took off half his health. Um Don't rely on this too much though. It's does it's not that cheap because um back me by itself is slow and it's very linear. And the move is slow itself on its own that there's a very good chance that it's not going to counter hit. Counter hit moves are generally only really good if you know you're, if they're quick. Like, uh, down forward B is pretty good. Um, still wouldn't recommend it, honestly. Yeah. Um, because they can break the stun. If they couldn't break the stun, then yeah, absolutely go for it. But, not generally speaking. Anyway, it's like... I don't know what uh, good linkers in this game would be, but in Soul Calibur 5, if you were to connect this, you do this into uh, the, the Corsica forward B uh, move, and then you go into like your critical edge or something. This isn't Soul Calibur 5, though, so this, the options are different. I'll leave it to the actual Soul Calibur 2 veterans to uh, piece that one together, but you know, no, not too big of a deal. Anyway, uh, so that side. Yeah, uh, I guess I could mention it. Down forward B is also really good. Um, this move, I'm pretty sure, is unsafe, but it's quick enough and fast enough. It's probably not going to be too much of a hazard to just throw it out sometimes. Much like Kazuya's down forward two in Tekken, you can just you can land, you can toss this out. Worst case scenario, you, talk, you eat a small punish. Best case scenario, you sum up for a huge fucking combo, like monstrously big. So yeah, um, in terms of like counter hit tools, down forward B is really good. Um, I remember one was kicked. It's decent. It may have been that one. Uh, that's 4K, by the way. I'm not certain if that good move, this move is actually, like, really, really good. But I, I know it does track, um, at least to one of the sides. So, it's pretty good. Just dropping the course of gold for once in all day. Let's see if I can actually get that. Damn it. Ah, well, whatever. I'm going to stop messing around with that. Anyway. So, another... Let's see. Other good moves that... So, by the way. Like, the three core moves I could recommend to new Mitsu players to definitely keep in mind are... Down KB, of course. Um, fishing course, I step B to get good combos. And... If I were to pick a last one, probably standard BB. Generally, those are pretty good moves. So, I should probably talk about his horizontal attacks more. I feel like his... His vertical attacks are stronger than his horizontals. But his horizontals are still pretty fucking good. Like, way better than some stuff that, like, um... Oh, uh, what was her name? Fuck, I don't remember. Redhead's name that was introduced in Zokai before. I don't remember her name on my hand. Shit. Hilda, that was it. <laughs> Much better uh, horizontal attacks than Hilda, but kind of lacking still. I feel like Mitsuru uh, Nightmare hasn't beat there, but he still does have... 
uh, back A, which I like this move. I'm pretty sure it's safe. I'm pretty fucking certain this move is safe. It looks like it leaves zero on, on hit, so that's pretty good. But what I really like about this move is its ability to trans uh, transition into uh, miss stance. Can you not transition into miss it? Okay, you can. You just have to hold hold forward. Uh, Soul Calibur four and five. You transition to miss stance by holding uh, just holding either back or holding A. This is actually a unique animation. Oh, why wow, he walks that with this, with this move? Oh my god. But uh, let me get some of this right here. All right, but um, this move is pretty good because if it hits, you're guaranteed at least something out of Miss Stance. And if it's Soul Calibur Five, then you're gonna get a really good mix up out of it because Miss Stance becomes really good in Soul Calibur Five. This game is still pretty good, but I feel like it's way better there. Um, let's see if I can actually do shit with that. Uh, it was that's yeah, something, whatever. But anyway, so um. Yeah, back A is generally one of his best holding moves. Uh, other good holding moves he has is, um, let's see, what was it? Yeah, back back A, or like walking backwards A. I like this one because it comes out with a pretty considerable amount of range. I'm pretty sure it's safe. Um, I could be mistaken about that. But it's not too bad to throw it, and it's pretty unreactable too, so. And if you want to mess with your opponent's guard impact timing, you can let this rip, and it should be pretty good. So, yeah. Um... Not too shabby. Uh, let's see. Four day. Uh, four day is also really good. Uh, well, there was was one. I think it was called Ear Slicer. Um, Mitsu had it in Soul Calibur Five. That was a really good horizontal move. In case I haven't made it clear, I'm not incredibly good at Soul Calibur Two, but I do know a lot of Mitsurugi's like ins and outs. So like, let me just go track down Ear Slicer really fast. Oh, yeah. Also, this uh, tracks, I'm pretty sure. It's pretty good. That could be good. That move. That one. Uh, yep, yep. Got that. What is it? Oh, yeah. Into Mist. Uh, there's that. What do you mean you get all this? Oh, you can go to Rolex Sands. That's kind of cool. I'm not really going to mention... Ooh. Well, that's not quite it. Huh. Seal Slicer? No. It was damn. It, where is it? Maybe it doesn't have a Zolkaver. Two. That sucks. Does it, does it look good low? That move seems okay for uh, tracking though. Good stance. All right. Well, I guess he doesn't have the ear slicing move in this game. No, not too bad. He still has more enough other options to make up for it anyway, so not too big of a loss. But um. What a game he has it. Ear Slicer is a really good uh, horizontal tracking attack for him. So, definitely remember that one. That's a pretty good move. So, let's see. Other crucial moves before we get into the stances. Uh, that's really like the bare basics of what you want to use with Mitsurugi. So, yeah, like I said before, Mitsurugi is a really strong all-around character that balances speed, power, and uh, range. I feel like he... I feel like he's kind of like Delegion in some ways, where he's able to balance all these traits and still excel in them as well. Like, uh, his range is still astronomical sometimes, way better than uh, the uh, Shield Sisters, way better than them sometimes. Uh, oh yeah, also uh, uh, B forward, so like uh, B tilde forward. This move is really good for range. Um, actually, I didn't know I had this much range in this game, holy crap. It's a really good, quick long range high attack that will catch people off guard. It's also really good for making an approach because I'm pretty sure it's close to zero on block. Maybe? I could be wrong about that. But yeah, um, in terms of other shit, this move, uh, let's see what input is that. That is down back, down back, B, A, B. This move is pretty good because it has extensions into um, mist. Or at least like it generally does. Yeah, it does. Okay. Um, again, I feel like this is better in Soul Calibur 5. Um, when Mitsurugi lost uh, Relic Stance in Soul Calibur 5, they buffed the hell out of Mist Stance, so it had like a true 50 50 mix up. So, yeah. Um, I've never really been too familiar with Relic Stance. It has some gimmicky options. Um, like that move is pretty good to use. That's a good horizontal move. 
I ne I've never liked the fucking low out of it, though. I just hate that move so much. Can you jump with this? I thought you could jump with it. I mean, guards a straight up guard impact. Huh, okay. But yeah, no, it's pretty good to just fuck with people. Anyway, so, um, before we get too much farther, I want to talk about his throws. Throwing with Mitsurugi is generally very strong, but after seeing what he's got in this game, I feel like he's way stronger until Kaiba 3 onwards. Um, the reason being is because he has this, he has a very nightmare-esque throw in Soul Calibur 3 onwards because it's his 8th throw. And his 8th throw is able to ring out, no problem. In this game, uh, it's one of his missed, uh, missed stance throws. God, I'm starting to slur. So I feel like it's, uh, his throw game gets better in later games, but it's still not too terrible here. So he's got his 8th throw. Again, this would be relegated to one of his uh, missed stance throws later on. But still not too bad. Um, actually, let me see if what they are in this game. What the hell? What do you mean he's got the same one in both stances? Oh, that is so weird. That is so fucking weird. Anyway, so... And then his B throw out of this. He always has that throw in uh, missed stance. It's always really fun. And then his other one. Wait, what do you mean he still has that? That is so weird. They actually divvied up the um, the throws between um, Soul Calibur 2 and 3. That's actually really cool. So, huh. Alright. Well, that means he is a lot better throwing in Soul Calibur 3 onwards because he's got like four different throws you have access to. Weird, but okay. But, uh, yeah, he's a lot better with throwing in 3 because he has a, a throw that can ring out. He has a throw that can switch positions. I feel like... Well, I do like you can have access to this regularly from standing without having to go into mist stance. That's kind of cool. And it switches sides, so... Yeah, that's not too bad. Alright. Uh... Yeah, that's okay. Uh, moving on... What else? Oh yeah, ring out game. Uh... Generally speaking, Mitsurugi's ring out game is pretty good. Um... It's not horrible. Oh, ah, shit, I forgot to mention actually de one decent move. Oh, wait, actually... I missed a couple of good moves. All right, so I mentioned that he, like there's of course like the really good core moves you want to use with them, um, but there's other really good moves you do want to look out for also. Uh, Mitsuru has a general has a good wealth of mids you can use, so don't feel like you're ever at a loss with them if you pick them up. So uh, four four a plus b, this move is always really good because um, let me see if I can't find a command to work out my controller right now. I'm doing some weird shit through Dolphin right now, guys. I'm sorry about that. Anyway, uh, <clears throat> I also got manual input. For uh, his eight-way run, A plus B is actually really good. Um, the first reason being, if they block it, it gives a really good amount of plus frames. Like if I were to set him to guard this shit, push him into crouching, very similar to side step B, pretty solid, not too bad. Now, the cool shit about this move is that you can cancel it. So, uh, yeah, like, if you start doing it, this move is a, you can see, this is a very, like, lumbering animation. So, you can cancel it. You don't have to worry about this being blocked. This will give you really good plus frames, like, even if it does, uh, get blocked. But, what's really good about this is that you can cancel it from a, you can do it from a distance. Cancel it. And then, go for, like, a throw mix-up or a low. That will really fuck him up. That will... Mitsurugi's generally always had a few gimmicks about him, but I feel like this is one of the most substantial that will actually win you some games. Um, and it gets even better in Soul Calibur 5, I want to say. I never noticed this to ha not have it prior, but... Uh, at some point, in Soul Calibur 5, it gains armor properties. Like, it can absorb one hit of, one hit of uh, attacks, so it's pretty good. This timing's throwing me off, actually. Oh, no. What was my uh, throw button again? Okay, let's just go with that. Yep. Sorry, doing this, all this about shortcuts is throwing me off. Especially with how fast it is. It is. Damn it. Alright. Yep. There we go. So, yeah, um, assuming your controller is actually wired up right for Dolphin, uh, doing this move into Gar. Uh, and then canceling it, and then doing something else out of it will really mess with your opponent's head. Uh, 
I feel like this has always been one of Mitsurugi's like strongest mix-ups because you can do it at a distance and if you don't do the cancel, you still win because you do a you really push him into a crouch block. And if you do do it, then congratulations, you know, they're now scared, shitting their pants. You have like infinite mix-ups you can do uh, out of this and you can just mess with the heads all day. So it's pretty good. Uh, one other move I do want to talk about is, let's go, go back to normal. Uh, back KB. This move's never been too terrible. I feel like some mid two players kind of write this move off. I don't think this is awful. Um, one of the reasons being is because it covers quite a bit of range. And the Oki you can get off of the, the, uh, the overhead slash, it's not too bad. Pushes you pretty close to them. And then, um, I haven't mentioned this before, though, but down back A, I feel like it's a pretty is much better to use as like a wake up option versus um trying to utilize it for uh, like a raw low like you could do it and they might not guard it all the time but it's just not worth the risk honestly a lot of people can react to this but um yeah like if you were to do this and then like they're standing up expecting like an overhead move like a good wake up uh situation would be like this uh if you could do it fast enough yeah, like this, because they're getting up off the floor. Even if they don't get up off the floor, I'm pretty sure both will still hit grounded. So that's a pretty decent option to select. So if I were to... Where is... Down, there we go. Okay. So like... This sometimes hits grounded. I know it does. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, this will hit grounded. I didn't mean to charge there. Uh, down back A... Will hit grounded unless your name is Old Calibre 4, in which case it goes overview for some reason. I don't know, it's weird. But this will hit grounded as well. Um, I actually haven't mentioned this, but down forward B, also one of his best moves, but not like required. This has a really deep hitbox. So, like, this will always tag people on the ground. Actually, um, I feel like this is always one of like hit, uh, Mitsu's strong suits. A lot of his moves have really deep reaching hitboxes, especially his vertical attacks. Um,. Sometimes you might face a stance character that has a really like low crouching stance to him, like Valdo or something like that. But if you do one of these attacks, there's a pretty good chance you'll still connect with them. Like you can, know, you can see here, uh, standing B only misses by like an inch, and like if you're to do that, it will connect. I wonder if this will work actually. Yeah, I feel like this is a really undersold value of Mitsurugi. He, he's pretty good in wake up situations or like. Uh, countering wake-up situations. Yeah, generally speaking. Um, and then there's like his actual ground hang low attacks. And then that suddenly decided to whiff. <laughs> I love hitboxes in Soul Calibur sometimes. Sometimes shit will just miss for no reason. Nah, it actually looks like it should go over for him. God, it's so weird. And then this actually works. Fun fact, this does not connect on ground opponents in Soul Calibur 4. I don't know why, but hey, whatever. Alright, so, um, while we got all that, all that way, I guess I'll, um, begin to ex introduce you guys to hit some of his core stance moves. Uh, Mitsurugi isn't really, like, a dedicated, um, stance character, but he has some good stuff that he can utilize. So, uh, as I mentioned, there's Mist, no, Relic Stance. I won't talk about Relic Stance too much because Soul Calibur 5 removed it, but in exchange it gave... A lot of tools to uh, miss stance, but I will briefly go over it because these are some like his some of his core options for until Soul Calibur four. One sec. But um, yeah, so um, generally cool option that he has of Relic Stance is he has a legit guard impact parry out of it. So if I were to go over here, um, Miscellaneous should have it listed somewhere. This it. No, that goes in Relic. Uh, where is... This is it. Yeah, like if you press those three buttons, you can get uh, a really decent uh, horizontal guard impact out of it. Uh, what's this one? Oh, it just goes into the mist. I see. What's this one? Oh yeah, he's also had... Um, back in the day, he did also have a pretty cool uh, unblockable move out of it. 
that you can uh, adjust the timing on freely. Um, I've never liked it personally because it's high. And that's like kind of dubious. Unless you do that, I guess. Hmm. Yeah, that's not too bad. Um, I've never really re known good situations to use Relic Stance because I didn't play competitive Soul Calibur before, before uh, 5. So I've never known really good situation to use this, but it's not bad. This is a good evasion move. Um, it seems like this this move is more about, or this stance is more about like defensive situations where you can just sit here, uh, turtle shit, and if they, and you want to get them to attack you. So like, yeah, his B attack's got a good evasion to it. Um, this is a good like anti sidestepping move to evade that shit. And then if you want to bait them into attacking, you can begin to explore that shit. And then you have a legit uh, guard impact. Yeah, I, I guess this is a pretty good defensive stance. Um, I wouldn't use it because it requires too many hard reads to be good, but eh, it could be alright. And the real good stance with, with Mitsurugi, I feel, is uh, Miss Stance. Miss Stance is always going to be like your go-to. Um, I'm just being honest with you guys. It's, it's always been one of his best stances. Uh... I like the little sounds he makes. Oh my god, it's so weird that A is a B attacks in this game. Uh, I won't cover Miss Dance too much here because it's so much different in this game compared to later games. Even like Soul Calibur 3, it's massively reworked. Like, you, you guys don't understand. His A attacks in this game, or for Miss right now, are his B attacks in Soul Calibur 3 onwards. And like his B attack is A plus B later on. Or at least, um, I think A plus B forward. Yeah, that's really weird. Um, I'm just gonna quickly, like, look over if he has any of his really good shit in this. Uh, let's see. Missed, 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 missed. There we go. Um. Yeah, there it is. That's another one of those. It's pretty much like A plus B, except that's built-in guard impact. So that's pretty cool. It also sometimes give you, uh, gives you combo, so that's pretty decent. And of course, there's the, there's the throw options. Um, in this game, his low options are shit because you just get this like this low. Yeah, that's who cares really. But um, yeah, no, I feel like Miss Dance is really good as his offensive options because it gives you true mix-ups, and Rock Dance is good as a defensive option because it counters what your opponent wants to do as retaliation to him doing it. I just feel like that's a little too gimmicky though. Yeah, no, that's this is what I mean by there being like two major camps of Mitsurugi. The party animals and the Faro's train of thought where you focus more on defense and like really making you really want to open up your opponent when they you know they're making mistakes. At least that's like generally how I see it. Yeah, I'm more of a subscriber to the Faro school of thought because his defensive options are so strong that you just you generally always want to use them, personally speaking. But yeah, that's a general insight to Mitsurugi. All these options are generally on him through all the Soul Calibur games, just with a few exceptions, but um, generally these are all of his good stuff. The only thing Soul Calibur 2 that has that I didn't talk about is down back B. It's unique in this game because it launches and it's slow. Later on, it's made a lot faster, but it becomes like a mid poke. I didn't mention it here because I can't talk about without it kind of, well, the animation kind of likes you me to vote, but you know. But yeah, I uh, hope you guys learned from this. Uh, leave down in the comments below what you want me to do next for one of these guys. Um, not, uh, Mitsurugi is my main, but I know a few other characters as well, like Nightmare and Siegfried and a handful of others. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Peace.